Because if he gets caught. <laughs> did you get him falling? All right, Johnny, what are we doing? So right now we're gonna fit me out in all camo and we're gonna test you, the viewers, to see if you can find me in the grass, rocky landscape area. We're gonna put Johnny in five different positions. You guys will have five opportunities five, to okay. find Five, okay, five different positions. Sound a little, little weird there. What is this? Oh. This is a Viper hoodie. So ghillie suits are not worn by snipers anymore. Viper hoodies are. Viper hoodies. Viper hoodie, baby. So, you know, the number one rule is veg is the edge. The more veg you have, the better. So we can throw the hoodie over, or even more better, we can throw on the Especial. Ooh. Boom. Now, Trey, I have a question. Is this the optimal way to do camouflage, or is there an even better way? No, this is the way. This is how you do it. Currently, TTPs, this is how you do it. I mean, we could camo up his face. You want camo on your face? <laughs> should we? <laughs> totally should. Might as well. <laughs> Here we go. So, guys, I just want to deeply let you know that when I was young, I wanted to be a makeup artist. Really? No, not at all. <laughs> not even, not even Sorry, keep going. Sorry, keep going. <laughs> That's right, your live dream makeup artist. <laughs> You don't gotta call me out, Johnny Dang. <laughs> sorry, sorry, go ahead. All right. Your life story. Life story. I wanted to be this makeup artist, and so I realized the only way to do it and be cool was to uh, do it on YouTube for Johnny Q. So here we are on YouTube with Johnny Q. What color do you like the I'm most? I'm brown. Well, this, why you gotta make this racist? Mm, I'm just am, trying to be normal people. Oh, I'm, I'm not brown, I'm white. All right, Johnny, here's what you're gonna do. Because it's a training event, we're gonna tell you, we're gonna give you the, the overview. So we've got six different colors. So here, kick your hat off. You don't need your hat for this. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to focus on the dark areas of your face, light, the light areas of your face, dark. It's all dark. So where are we gonna start? You've got some, this might need, need to be light. Need to contour. So we've got, uh, this is pretty, this is pretty light right there. So you use just, this? No, just dip a little in your hand, in your fingers. More than that, like dip it, there you go. Now, you can lighten up like around right here. There you go, nice, nice, all right. Now, you can add some OD green in there because OD green is pretty good. Get it all over your nose and your face. Just the more you cover up your face and like there are a couple different ways, but big stripes like this work really well. Now just, now take this dark or this lighter green right here and just go down your face like this, look. Like a lot? Yeah, like a lot. Start closing. I need to get Braveheart over here. Oh, we <laughs> oh, got the plastic. <laughs> oh. uh, we're just breaking up the outline of his head. Works pretty good. All right. I forgot you could push the buttons like this. That makes it even nicer. Great. <laughs> I'm over here like. Duh, 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 duh. Gosh. Uh, All right, I, I kind of like it. He does, that's gonna make him pretty hard to see. Ah. All right. This is how Johnny Q attracts a mate. <laughs> what did he say? So Johnny Q's mate. <laughs> he has been mating calls out here to the elk. Okay. To the elk? Whoa, whoa, he's a whole different video now. <laughs> he took it to a new level, man. Oh, I see a horse over there. <laughs> All right, now Viper hoodie on. And um, where are those gloves? You have the gloves. He needs those gloves. All right. So this is what we've come up with. Of the five locations that we show you, let me know down in the comments if you actually found me in any of them. Because if he gets caught. <laughs> Did you get him falling? <laughs> I, I, it, he felt like out of frame. <laughs> I'm right. tired of this, Grandpa! Okay. All right. Location number one, that landscape. Go. All right, fade to black. Be right on in. See if you can find Johnny. All right, Johnny, come out and move.
location number two. All right, Johnny, stand up. Let the people know where you are. Location number three. All right, Johnny, show yourself. Now we're on to location number four. All right, Johnny, show yourself. You got 15 seconds. All right, Johnny, show yourself. So there you go. Were you able to find me in those five different locations in all camo? Comment down below. American Outlaw, question for you. After doing this, what do you think people should know about camouflage in general? Hmm. Or if they want to hide from an enemy or their spouse. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to hide from your spouse, I say that's like gray man in the middle of a city. <laughs> Uh, you know, wear a hoodie and kind of hide Very in the true. corners. Good luck. Uh, if you want to hide from an enemy, foreign or domestic, um, you got to match your environment. One camouflage doesn't fit all environments. Um, this camouflage that you're wearing now is made for this environment. When you get up to Minnesota, you, you probably need to completely switch to darker colors. Right, right. And so um, it just depends on where you are. So. If you're going to have a kit, you need to have multiple camouflages for the areas that you're going to work in. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of hard um, to just say there's a one-size-fits-all, but uh, be very cognizant of where you are. Veg is the edge. You have to re-veg a lot, which means put sticks and stuff through here, and you got to realize they die in a couple of hours. So um, camo's tough. Yep, well, there you go. Thanks, American Outlaw. Thanks, CivTech. And thanks, guys, for watching. I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.